Hello, here is All Guns, the channel where you can find everything connected with weapons, air guns, and swords and everything. Today's video is a new video about something that would like to see and announce. We have reached 1000 subscribers. It's a great score and I really appreciate it and thank you for this because we have reached the magic threshold for YouTube and maybe YouTube will allow me to monetize my video, but forget about it. Today's video is a video about comparison between Japanese katana and Polish Sabre model 1934. It's the latest military Sabre Ludwikówka. It's a uh, Another name, uh, you can find a lot of this stuff in uh, United States because after the war the Germans has robbed some sabers from Polish soldiers and then Americans took them into United States. Some news about those two swords, the weapons. The overall length of the katana is longer than the Polish saber but it is because of the long grip. So, uh, the basic difference, of course, it's hard to compare those two weapons because they have been used in another locations, in another times. Uh, Japanese katana is two-handed sword, so it's the main difference. And when you are fighting like a samurai, you are making static movements, very hard, very fast movements, but you are standing still and waiting for your opponent to do something quicker and faster. With the Polish Sabre, you are fighting using the momentum. You are waving all the time with the blade because this is one handed sword and believe me, it is uh, 1.5 kilogram. And if you are waving it, you really feel it. So it's very difficult to stop the sword, the Sabre in a movement and do something so the muskets are technique when you are always making some movement and using the momentum and the power, the, the, the speed you have, you are uh, making some uh, attacks or powering. Uh, I'm not an expert in uh, fencing, but I'm trying to learn something and on the video I will try to make uh, the technique exactly like it's look in Tamashigiri for Japanese and some technique from Polish saber fighting uh, from Krakow school for example. So uh, stop talking uh, let's see what would be cutting. It's a bottle with water about one gallon. It's a five liter full of water very hard plastic and believe me, it's not so simple to cut it even with a knife very sharp. So you need a lot of power to make the cut, but you will see the result and make the conclusion by yourself. Thank you. 
So thanks again for over 1000 subscribers. It's a great score for me. And please give me some comment. What would you like to see or what would you like not to see? So if you prefer a video about the air guns, uh, bows, uh, firearm disassembly or repairing air guns, ASG techniques, maybe some tactical movements. So anything you want, just give me and I will try to focus on it. So thanks again. See you later. It was all guns. Goodbye.